Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series, where we are dancing with wolves, as we do. That wolf appears to be stalking, so he might be after a bunny. Because he's moving a little quicker than usual. Oh no, maybe he's just walking. He looked like he had his head down. That's not quite full stalking speed, but he looked like he, looked like he was on his way to something. So somewhere in this little valley that I'm in right now, there is a climbing rope that leads down into here. I'm almost positive of it. I think that tree is meant to point towards it, honestly. And I know that I set up the climbing rope not too long ago. Oh, hey. Alright, so there's that wolf. And there's that one. I've tried to take a number of more distant pot shots. Yeah, there's definitely a cargo container or two over here. I'm looking at one right there. I can't quite make out whether there's another one or if that's just debris. But I'm kind of trying to find my way to the back side, the right side here, of this area that I'm hanging out in because I want to see if I can find where that climbing rope is. Get my bearings on where exactly I am relative to a spot that I'm thinking of. And then I need to go farther that way. Because I'm not sure what that direction yields. No, I don't see the climbing rope over here. Yeah, it's not here. And I definitely just see one container. Hmm. Maybe this isn't the spot I was thinking of. Where's that other wolf? Seriously, where'd the bastard go? He was right around here a second ago. I see that one. Uh, that's not the sound I want to hear right now. That's the soundtrack that plays when, a, when an aurora starts, and if an aurora starts, these wolves are about to get a lot tougher. Actually, the weather seems like it's about to get a little worse. I've been enjoying a pretty clear night so far, and I'm really not in a good spot to be caught. Alright, there's the other wolf. Oh, that's bad timing. Sprained wrist, wall crouched on a slope that I've been standing on forever. Alright, he's coming right toward me, so I should be able to drop this wolf pretty easily. Got him. Alright, the other one just ran off, but at least I know where he is now. I already stopped running, so he's over there. I might be able to drop him pretty quickly, too. Then explore this cargo and keep going. Alright, so it says engine, but not newly discovered engine. So it's like I've been here before, but I don't recall being here before. I think I might be able to explore. Yeah, I definitely don't see a climbing rope leading down into this area anywhere, nor really a cliff that seems like it has a spot at the top. Where one would be. Alright, I'm going to stand right here while watching that wolf. Wood matches accelerant, wood... Okay, that's... Not what I wanted. One more container. Please give me a sewing kit. I can't repair my clothing without it. Okay, well, that's that's lovely. That's a ton of stuff. Of course he saw me right as I got up. Of course he did. 
I'm encumbered. My clothing's already hurt. If he gets me, I could lose some clothing items. Well, All right, man. You want me? Now's the time. Bad time to give up, buddy. Didn't kill him, but I hit him, so I got the rifle skill. I'll take it. Echo Ravine. So we haven't been here. Interesting. Well... See an archway. Yeah, this is an entirely new area of Timberwolf. I don't want to go too far down an unbeaten path. I'm just looking for crates that I haven't been into already. But. It is kind of fun to explore. Hey game, why won't you let me reload the rifle? Oh, it's bugged. It's doing the thing where... There we go. I had to aim it to... get it to stop doing what it was doing. I was trying to reload it. I was trying to hit R and it... wasn't going. So this is called Echo Ravine. I'm guessing because if you were to yell really loud right now, there would be an echo. I'm really not being incredibly smart at the moment, to tell you the truth. Especially, what give, especially given what happened with Frostbite, and given that I found so many items... that I'm carrying, that are weighing me down at present. Is that the moon? Yeah, it's the moon. Terrible weather. Terrible visibility. This is really interesting. It's just this this particular kind of nighttime fog is it really just makes this seem surreal. Like I can't see. Visibility is such crap right now. Hang on. Maybe if I got my lantern out, we could have a little more perspective. The only thing there is that if there's any animals nearby, I will not be able to raise my rifle as rapidly in self-defense. I am way off the beaten path now. I mean, I genu generally know where I've gone. It's a cave mouth. It 
the bear cave. You're damn right I'm keeping my mouth shut right now. Oh, damn it. I about had enough. <laughs> I have about had enough of sprains in the past two or three episodes. That's happened one too many times. Okay. Now what's what's up here? I'm I'm really getting just I'm exploring all kinds of pathways that I mean it's the middle of the night. I have no idea where I am. If the weather were to turn any worse than it is right now, I would be in serious danger. I already am in serious danger, but the danger would be even more serious. <laughs> Echo Peak East. Echo Peak. Okay, here's a little mini cave with some wood. Hey! And some sticks. So you know what I could do in Echo Peak East? You know what I could totally do? Hang on, let me see if there's an actual limb for me to chop down anywhere nearby really quickly. Yes, there is. For me to chop up, rather. Now, you gonna let me cut this up? Requires light to break down with tool. Of course it does. I don't want to use my lantern fuel, so... Let's see if it'll let me just use a match. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's super cheap. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad about what I just did. But that's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's um let's let's get a fire going in here. Um or can we? There we go. Get a fire going. Wood matches, cedar firewood. No, let's just use a stick, please. No, use a fire striker. Or should we use a stick and not wear down our fire striker? Let's use some accelerant too because we got some more anyway. Okay. Now we have that to keep us alive. We're gonna need a little bit of water before long. Let's go ahead and actually get a lot more. So with any luck when we wake up we'll have a little bit more of a sense of where we need to go. We can see something in the distance. Either that or we'll have a blizzard and I'll be dead. One of the two. Anything can happen. It's the long dark. You know what? Hang on. No, 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 no. Let's actually... Cook the tomato soup. Also, we need to cook some more tea and coffee again. Given that we have this long fire. I'm kind of tempted to do that instead of, instead of rest. But I want to be fully rested for the next day.
All right, so let's go ahead and not sleep. Well, if we sleep for 10, if we say we're going to sleep for 10 hours, we're not literally going to sleep for 10 hours. Let's eat the tomato soup really quickly while I'm thinking about it. Let's see what happens. This is a bit of a gamble on top of the gamble I've already been taking by being out here. We woke up fully rested, and we've got some daylight and seems like some possibly decent weather, if not about to get a little bit worse. Let's take a torch and use this moment of clarity to see where we are. Wow, none of this looks familiar. Not one bit of it. I kind of, all right, that looks familiar. I've been over there. So I am somehow across. That's where I was, I think. I'm fairly certain I've been over there because that tree around that corner seems like a place that I've been. So I'm somehow in a different region of Timberwolf entirely because of just the random pass that I walked up while I was getting up here. Fun times. So I'm going to try and kind of get down from here. Let's also see what's out here. Okay, wait. I was looking for this. This is an area I was kind of thinking I would find. Oh. We're at the bottom again. That's the lake over there. See, I had a feeling this happened again. So... How does this keep happening? Is the question. Yeah, I've been here already. I came out here. And... Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Hang on. Hang on. While we've got this much daylight, and while I know exactly where I am... Alright, there's the bear. I knew he would be there. But I want to go towards that wing really quickly. So we did leave some venison behind. And some other stuff, actually, that we've got to go up and get. Mainly those wraps. But not a lot. It wouldn't take a... And it's also not far. It wouldn't take me a long time to go get that stuff. But to tell you the truth, at this point, I'm kind of getting tired. Especially given the number of wolves. I'm kind of getting tired of trying to find my way back up the path I was going before. I mean, I, granted, it's not that I was having trouble finding my way. I deliberately went a different direction. Is that a cargo container? Or are those just trees? Yeah, I deliberately went a different direction for a bit. Just for a little bit. When I came out of that cave, I went right instead of going left. Which is the, the cave where I left the venison. If I had gone left, I would have found my way up towards any other cargo containers I hadn't already visited. See, there's one right there. The question is, have I been to that one already? I think I have. I think I've visited and revisited that one, but I just want to be sure. Because this is where I was, and I started making my way around the left side of this, and then went all the way around, and that's how I ended up where I was. So, actually, yes, I remember. That's where the dead guy was, so I have been there. Okay. So, I'm going to go back to the fishing hut. Actually, speaking of fishing, well, we need a hook, don't we? We don't have a hook. We also don't have a sewing kit. So that's another reason we've got to kind of, that's another reason we have to leave. So here's what I'll try and do. We've got about five minutes left in this episode. I might go a little bit over time. Let me go back to Timberwolf. Or go back to the, not to Timberwolf, but go back to the, the 
cabin. We're going to drop the extra stuff we're carrying. Not make sense of it just yet, but we'll drop the extra stuff we're carrying. Go back and get the stuff that we left at the, the bottom of the second rope that we climbed. And see if I can make it back all in one episode, because we're pretty rested right now. So I may be able to swing that if the wolves are not too bad in the area where we ran into those two wolves at once. And yes, I'm running because I'm not sure where the bear's patrol route is, but he could be close. It's to my right, I know that, but I don't know if he is programmed to come up the slope that I'm standing on right now. If he is, I could be in trouble. Okay. Looks like we're home free. <laughs> I see wolf corpses. So tempting, but I won't. Okay, so we have returned. I'll try to be quick and get all the way back up there. We'll see how this goes. Close door. Open hatch. Got plenty of room in this little little hatch here. So let's go ahead and put up four accelerants. Let's sort by weight, actually. Let's put up some water, too. Because I don't need that much water right this moment. A cool sweater. Decent hoodie. See, we're actually already unencumbered. Let's actually go through it this way instead. I need to put up a bunch of these wood matches. There's no reason for me to have all these on me. None whatsoever. It's just extra unnecessary weight. The 24 pack I'll keep because sometimes they don't, as you can see, they don't always stack up that high. So when you have a 24 pack of wood matches, it's good to have. Just even if, if for no other reason than just organization sake. All right, the wool shirt I want to put up as well. I meant to leave that the first time I came back. All right, we also found all this stuff, which is nice, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. We do need to definitely make... I'm, I'm going to make that tea and coffee before I leave. You bet I will, because that will help level up our cooking to level five. And I want to have that opportunity, not only because... Drinking all of that will help keep us fed while we're doing it. But also because, um, just... That's going to be a lot of weight that I don't want to carry with me. I don't, I don't want to leave all that stuff. So we're going to do that before we leave, probably in the next episode. But for now, let's see if we can get up there really quickly. Oh, <laughs> unless the door wants to shut me back in. Thank you. Didn't step quite as far outside of that as I thought I did. Okay, weather's not looking great, but again, don't have far to go. Wait, hang on. Let's fix that problem. Screw it, I'm going to sprint a little bit. How's your head?
And here comes the blizzard. That's okay, though. We really don't have far to go. As long as I can avoid wolves, we won't be out in this for too long. I'm not going to sweat it. Climbing rope is right up here on the left. This is the only climb we'll have to make. Oh, wait. Oh, as I hit my mic. <laughs> Fix that. I've got to wait for my stamina to recharge before I attempt to climb, but otherwise I'm good. Getting cold, though. That's for sure. I'm going to go ahead and eat this condensed milk, because it's an extra half pound. Okay. Let's climb. At least it's a daytime blizzard, not a nighttime blizzard. That can make all the difference, especially with the situation we were in a few episodes ago. I think that blizzard started as a daytime blizzard, though, as I recall. I kind of want to get those saplings on the way back. Now, I'm a little concerned that the wolves that I dealt with before, I don't think I killed them all. And as we've seen, wolves are not going to stay in during blizzards anymore. We can't count on there being no wildlife threat. So there could be one very close, and because of the limited visibility, I won't even see him coming. So excuse me while I keep my mouth shut for a second and listen. I'm actually getting pretty cold pretty fast, so I think one thing I might do... I know where there's a cave nearby where I could rest and warm up. Especially with some of these sticks. So rather than try and go all the way back down this episode, here's the, uh spot where we left our stuff. I'm gonna go back to that cave. You may recall which one I'm talking about. It's very close. I know exactly where it is. Not gonna have trouble finding it. Oh, there's some sticks here too. Good. So we're gonna be we're gonna be covered as far as our as far as our um, fire starting needs. But uh, I will go ahead and head to the cave instead, I'll, and I'll do that before I end this episode. There could be a wolf nearby. Last time I was here, I I can drop any of this gear. there was a wolf. All right, one percent. There's a wolf that kind of walks through this crevice nearby. The wolf was like right up here last time, right on the other side of this slope. Pretty sure you felt colder. Pretty sure, all things considered. Because um, I definitely saved your hand from frostbite a few episodes ago, so... But I get it, you're emotional, you're cold, you're saying things that aren't necessarily true. All right, we made it inside the cave. I'm gonna stop this one here, and the next one we are going to recover a little bit. Uh, we will carry all this stuff back down. Yeah, we're gonna start a fire here real quick. 
We're gonna put all the stuff, uh, take all the stuff back down to the bottom of the mountain, if possible. And then we, like I said, we've got to cook a lot of, um, of tea and coffee, like we did at Sapa Timberwolf for a bit to get our cooking skill, maybe up to level five next episode, which will be a lot of fun. But uh, for now, I'll go ahead and start this fire while I'm ending this one. Next one, we'll do all that, and then head to Desolation Point uh, before long. But of course, we are coming up as well. This is episode 77. We're coming up on the end of this run of Against All Odds. We're going to bring back another series in the 6 p.m. slot in a couple of days. I'm not even sure which one just yet, to tell you the truth, but... Um, but we will switch back to another series uh, after episode 80 and then come back to this one for episode, um, you know, 81 through 100. Also, let me check the journal really quickly before I end this because we aren't far from day 100. And day 100 would, of course, be the end of this series. So... Perfect. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's add all that. Put the torch on there, too. You survive for yeah 92 days so we'll see how that goes i mean we we might hit that it, there's even a possibility we could hit that before the end of episode 80 but i'll i'll play it by ear so anyway thanks for watching if you enjoyed this one don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along new episodes are coming out every day at 6 p.m eastern time comments are always welcome let me know what you think and i'll see you next time